All right, we're going to do this. We got the talk master pipes, which we're going to put on the F6B. I'm going to go through this, and I'll I'll film it at each step, so this way, maybe it'll help somebody in the future. We're going to do this, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right. Okay, we just took the cowling off, the front cowling, and what I did was, to the advice of uh, Big Larry, thank you, I took a piece of cardboard and I put the, the bolts, pressed them in to the, to the position they'd be in, since uh, there is one here, and this correspond, this will correspond to, the, to, the, to each one, one in the middle, which is this and one on the bottom, which is this one. And there's a push pin on top, but you know, that's uh, so, and that's what the front looks like with the cowling removed. And we're just gonna go to the next step. Okay. All right, here's another reason why you need update because things change. In the directions here, it says to remove the, um, the front lowers, it says, it's a five millimeter Allen, but it's not because there it is. And what it is is it's a 10 millimeter socket. So, and anyway, that's one. All right, what we have here is the main lower here after we took off the bolt on the front. Uh, you're left with this cow, this lower here. And it's just a matter of yanking it down and then forward and it'll come out with no problem. And it's the same thing on the other side, no different. All right, this is another removal here. This is the five millimeter Allen and it's just one and it's just a matter of pulling forward and that should come off nice and easy like that everything I'm doing the same thing on the other side it's just du duplicating it and then the next step will be to remove these two um, which I'll do and then I'll show it okay we pulled this this is a clamp which it really goes on here these are two six millimeter bolts and um, nuts excuse me uh, so you pull these two out I w I WD 40 it all after always because it was a little tough getting out and then you have this hanger bolt which is a 12 millimeter and uh, that comes out and apparently that that, um, that pretty much it but I'll keep you uh, all along. So we'll get this off and uh, we'll continue the video. Actually, um, on this one, I, this is the 12 millimeter that I actually didn't take out. I just backed it out so it'll make it easier because I had to remove the muffler. And there's another 12 millimeter. Let me give you the perspective on it. There's the, the one I backed out. And underneath here, you figure with all the lights I have, Actually, what I did was I didn't remove this. I just backed it out for because I'm going to need to do it later. So I just figured I didn't pull it all the way out. I backed it out. But what you have to do is there's another 12 millimeter right here. And this is to remove the muffler, which I did. Yeah. Once you actually the easiest way is once you remove that bolt is to just twist it back and forth. And it'll, it'll pop out with no problem I mean I didn't have any difficulty whatsoever and we're working our way down to just the pipes and, uh, so, and this is so far this is how far we've got and this is it all right okay now once we get these mufflers off and loosen this and uh, this is the clamp for the crossover pipe which again is two six millimeters we're gonna pull those off and uh, 
and that'll be it. We can probably well, then we'll probably uh, just take the bolts for the headers off, but one step at a time. I'll pull these off and we'll continue. Okay, we loosen these. I said before those are six millimeters. They're five millimeter bolts. They're not six. We loosen those so the clamp is, is loose so it can be pulled out. Now what we're going to do is these are 10 millimeters and but in order to remove the last one you have to remove this 12 millimeter bolt for the crash bar and that'll get you to this last one and we're going to do that on each side and again these are 10 millimeters right, so we removed all the header bolts they came out no problem some of them, well not some of them, a couple of them were actually loose, so I should make a note to check them every once in a while. The only thing left is the hanger bolt, which I loosened before for the um, catalytic converter. And the oxygen sensors are right here, so I put a little box under here so this doesn't fall and ruin that, uh, or pull on that uh, wire for the oxygen sensor because you have to make sure uh, they're not damaged so we will do this we'll take these bolts off and then I'll show you once it's down one suggestion um, on the left side of the engine if you remove the I dropped the uh, the cat but before you do that there's a tie wrap now here's the line coming for the oxygen. There's a tie wrap that keeps it tight over here. You, what I did was I cut it. You can always tie wrap it again, but this loosens up real nice, the oxygen sensor line, so you got plenty of play in here so you don't snap it. And you can, and it's free, so you can move it. You can even cut this one, but if you have to. If not, I would say, you know, let it free, leave it free, and uh, you should be okay. But this will like I said, free up, this will free up a lot of play on this line. And it's right here, you can't miss it, right by the shifter. So this, this tie wrap here is, and, it, and like I said, when I'm done, I'll just re-wrap it. I have tie wraps, and uh, that'll be it. So, I mean, look at the amount of play you have now, whereas before it's tight, and that's, that's where I think a lot of the problems um, happen. So, anyway. Back to. Now we're on the uh, right side, and here again is the oxygen sensor, and the line comes up through here, over here, and there's another tie wrap. So what I did was, again, I cut it, and you lift it off that loop, and it'll free up and give you some play, so you can work that O2 sensor off, because this is a bracket here, so it has to loop over, and this is what's catching it. So if you loosen that up, You'll have some play, nice play. Actually, you can cut that tie wrap too, and that'll give you a real a lot of space, which is, let me show it to you, that one right there, right above this reservoir for the uh, brake fluid. So if you cut that, then you can actually get some light in there. You can wrap it around over here and really cut it straight down and give you a lot of play, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, pipes are off. Uh, fairly easy, and I'm telling you what made it uh, really matter is uh, for these oxygen sensors to take these tie wraps off, and that really gave it a lot of play. So as I was untwisting with one hand the sensor, I was winding it with the other hand uh, the wire itself, so this way it wouldn't get kinked. And being that I had all this play in it, it really helped. So this is the key right here. And uh, I think that'll make it a very smooth extraction. So I guess all we have to do is cut these. But uh, that's it. Cut these cats off, do the measurements, and that's it. Okay. Uh, one thing I did forget to show that I'm going to edit in is when you're doing the oxygen sensor and you already took it off the um, old converter and you're putting it in the new one 
what you want to do before you put it in and you have the the oxygen pretend this is the oxygen sensor and these are the wires before you tighten it which is this way you want to back wind it four times three and four place it in and then turn it in so this way when you're done your wires will be straight and not kinked like this so before you place it in back wind it four times place the sen uh, the O2 sensor in and just tighten it down and if you do it four times the wires will wind up just like this side by side and not twisted on each other Okay, uh, for the oxygen sensor, it says use one 17 millimeter wrench with, and the other hand twist the wire. It is not 17 millimeters because, as you, as you can see, that's a 17 millimeter, and it does not fit. But what I used, that's all I had on hand, was a 7 8 which what that translated into millimeters I don't know but that's how I got it all so it's not a 17 millimeter um, wrench so if you have a 7 8 or I don't know it could be 18 19 millimeters that's probably what it is but uh, I just loosely put the sensor in and I just hung it on that just just until I get everything together um, but once I get everything snapped up I'll, I'll um, you know, I'll keep going. All right. All right, everything is tightened up. As far as all clamps and everything. And we're gonna start it up. But I just wanna show you. What I do is I, I tighten the front and then the back and I made sure the middle was perfect and then I tighten that down. Other people may do it a different way. Um, I loosely put it together first and then just tightened up each end and then the middle was the last part. Um, but it seemed to work for me. Somebody else may do it differently. This is the way I did it. But here we have it. And I'll retie wrap these sensor wires back to where they were. All right. Let me just clean up and then I'll start it up. All right. She's running. No leaks. We got them all. Everything is fine. I checked the leaks in every every part. Tight as a drum on both sides. And I'm just letting it run. Um, I'm gonna leave the cows off for now because I wanna heat it up and then retighten everything. And uh, but as for now, everything's running fine. So, the only thing I do is just tie wrap those. So, I'm hoping maybe this will help somebody. As, again, these instructions um, didn't. But, it's pretty, you know, once you get everything off, it'll, uh, it gives you a guideline. Uh, hopefully this video will help you. And, uh, I'll keep you updated, you know, you know, as far as supposed to improve performance and stuff, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. I just took her for a quick ride. The one thing, the first thing I notice is definitely a throatier sound, without a doubt. Um, I didn't really get up over 60, so I really couldn't tell, you know, as far as that drone or something, whatever it was. But 
I'll do that tomorrow, but I noticed definitely the difference in the uh, the exhaust note, um, without a doubt. But uh, that's it. I will give updates just in case anything you know happens or whatever. But no, I was I checked the exhaust again, and there's no um, leakage or anywhere. It's pretty much sealed tight, so I'll put all the all the Tupperware back on. And uh, that'll be it. Okay.